is Hans. Hans. very gentle noticing. What subtleties could you notice just in the way the expression of your name happened? Because I know your capacity to notice finally is, is, is quite good, especially when you're looking at other people. But also with yourself it's quite well defined, yeah? So just, what could you hear? There's a lot of subtle uh, movements here, yeah? just in the way we say our name, yeah? What quality of attention are we asking for, or just no right, no wrong, just noticing, yeah? Maybe you only get a feeling sense in the body, maybe you get some sense that you can express with your mind. It's, it's by association that something comes. Not, I don't perceive it as a perception, but okay. uh, and to begin with, I'm aware that saying my name already has the feeling of a joke. Yes. Mm -hmm. Having to say my name. Yeah. And I re I'm, I'm reminded now <coughs> that some years ago I, I spoke to Dick, the one that wants to die this month. Yeah. And we just had a conversation and I, and I asked him, what's your name? And he said, Dick. And I said, I'm Hans. And he looked at me like, are you stupid? <laughs> of course I know your name. Yeah. And uh, the, that's energy is, was already there before I said, Hans. Yeah. And then by association, I, I did it again louder. Yes. And the association is there was something in it like blaming myself for being me. Okay. Far out, huh? Interesting. Uh, and all of that communicated itself just in yeah. my name. Because yeah. we could all feel something, yeah? Yeah. 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 Yes. How many of you could sense something just when you see his name? And how easy is it to jump over it and just go, you know, like... But what does it actually do? What did it do in you? What does it invite you in yourself just to get a sense of it? Where, what does it invite you to? Not to connect. Not to connect fully, yeah? Like it, uh, yeah. And trying to be okay with it, out of respect. And trying to be okay with it out of respect because his system needs that distance. Or at least thinks it needs it yeah, in that moment, yeah. And the respect is for my grey hair or what? No, for the system. <laughs> for the system, yeah. The system. Oh. Because the system is, is asking it's asking for space but in this indirect way, yeah? Mm -hmm. So it's it's just to notice that that's what the system does. It just like I want to meet, but please Leave me alone. Leave me alone. There's something that I wanted to look into, and it 
There's some, it has everything to do with this. Okay. <laughs> And you know, I have the feeling that I'm in kind of a transition on on a very important subject for me. And uh, so I'm going to ask you just to slow down for a moment and just take in what you just saw. This this dual movement. Yeah, just feel it in the body. Just giving it space here, yeah. in the body, not in the mind, in the body, just beautiful, yeah. And then welcome to speak now, but just let it land, yeah. So within that organization, is there a sense of being already connected or a sense of trying to connect? I know intellectually and, and knowingly you know that there is a ready connection. But from the perspective of the nervous system, within that organization, is there a feeling sense of already being connected? Or is there a sense of wanting to connect? There is basically, there is, in the last year or so, there is a, a feeling sense of being connected. But mm -hmm. that when you ask the question, mm -hmm. Something happens like maybe it's the satisfied feeling, satisfied the satisfaction of not feeling disconnected anymore. Okay. So that has been so strong and that's basically gone. Okay. And in a way, that's where I. That's where I am, and mm -hmm. in a way, I'm quite happy with that. And now you ask directly hmm. this question. Doubt comes. Okay. And that's about it. Great. Doubt yeah. comes. Okay, yeah. Yeah. See, maybe just a subtle remnant of an old habit left. And then just seeing how it connects to the feeling sense in the body. Hmm. So as you're sitting now here, and the team is giving you attention. Just noticing the capacity of your system to drink it in without any needing to protect itself. And if there is some need to protect itself, honoring it, not jumping over it, just really making that distinction and feeling honoring whatever's there no need for anything to be different but just to see it so we're dealing with extreme subtleties here now huh? And it might be easier just to narrow it a little bit and just feel how it plays here, nervous system to nervous system. That might be easier than looking at the whole field. So just sensing here. Does the system completely welcome 
me in or does it have some uh, need to kind of Feels even as if this arm is protecting your leg. It okay. has to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. yeah, no worries. Just, yes. to, just to notice, yeah, because we're dealing with subtleties at play, and even as we look at, they change. You know, so there's nothing solid there. It's just a question of noticing. Yeah, yeah. No right, no wrong. Nothing has to be different. Just seeing the structures that are there from who knows where, yeah? who knows when. Because yeah. it's changing as we're sitting here and just noticing. Yeah? And then let's include the kissing back or the giving back and just seeing yeah, as gentle as you can. Yeah? without trying to change anything or do anything, just effortlessly noticing what the system does in terms of uh, giving back or kissing back. Because yeah? now already it's changing just as you start to notice it. Yeah? My sense is that this is enough answer. There's a lot of information that you've just received. And again, if you can find a place where you can just let this move in your body without getting your mind involved too much, just feeling, sensing, would be very useful for your system. Yeah. Thanks, Hans. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The name is Hans. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>